Hi guys, so this is going to be my video on how I got into Teen Top. Um, honestly, how I got into Teen Top. It's, uh, okay, it's kind of like how I got into Vicks. Like, I heard of Teen Top, but I didn't know anyone's name. I didn't know any of the songs. I just knew of the, you know, the name of the group. So, um, so I think I, you know, this is when I was really into watching reactions. I remember... Jasmine and Courtney did a reaction to Rockin' and I was like, that's still one of my favorite reactions from there because they were completely ape shit. And, um, I just remember watching the video and I was like, let me check this song out. So I watched the video myself, immediately fell in love with the song. I love the song. That's still one of my, my that's like my favorite Teen Top songs. Um, the video, like the choreography for Rockin' is still... Like, one of my favorites, I mean, when I was at KCON and I knew Teen Top was coming to America, I was really excited. And then come to Jersey, I was even more excited. And then at the fact that they, you know, did Rockin' and I just got my life, oh my god, I'm just still happy that I got, was able to say that I w was able to see them, these guys, in concert. Um... So yeah, I saw the video for Rockin' and I remember Cat was originally my bias because again, I have this thing for leaders who rap, leaders period, or leaders who rap. So yeah, I was really into Cat at the time, but then I think more when I got into Teen Top and just watching like old videos of theirs, I really started to fall in love with Eljo. Like Eljo was like one of my top five or six ultimate biases and I'm going to do a video on that but yeah I just immediately, immediately fell in love with Eljo and yeah so I remember getting this album Teen Top Class immediately fell in love with it and then just listened to the old stuff so like even though like Clap isn't my favorite Teen Top song but like Super Love No More Perfume On You Miss Bright um, going crazy, loveful, missing, uh, I'm sorry, just like all their songs. Like this album, their number one album, I've been lis I listened to that album so many times when I got it. Oh my god, I just love that album. Like, hello, I want to love Miss Wright. You know, I, I just, I really love that. I, I really love Teen Top. Like, if anybody knows about Teen Top, Teen Top is a hot ass mess. Like, just go ahead and watch their old, like, dance practices. It is a mess. Like, they're kind of like the prelude to GOT7. Like, you know, when GOT7 does their dance practices, you already know it's about to be some shit. It was like, so Teen Top was like that when they were out. And then they came out around the same time as Infinite. So it was kind of like Infinite and Teen Top. But, yeah, it's just me and Teen Top, I just absolutely love them. And speaking of Infinite, it's funny because... When I went to go see Infinite in concert, I had gotten to them and Infinite at the same time, and I'm supposed to, like, getting more familiar with Infinite, but I just kept listening to Teen Top, like, my mom was like, okay, are you going to listen, are you going to, like, listen to any Infinite songs, are you going to keep playing Teen Top, like, I was really, really into Teen Top when I first got into them, but, um, yeah, like, just, usually all their comebacks just hit it for me like I listened to their recent um album I really like it like I'm almost close to finishing their albums like I don't have their recent album I don't have the album coming to New York uh, coming to the new world that was the clap and transform and artist so I need like maybe three or four albums and I'm completely done with Teen Top, so I'm almost done, guys. I'm really close, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, and that's my video on how I got into Teen Top, and I will see you guys later. Bye.